And if you're not sure, listen to me very, 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 very carefully. Apostle John wrote these words. He was a close companion of Jesus. He wrote these words. He says, this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. Those who have the Son have life. Those who do not have the Son of God do not have life. I've written these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life. And in those few lines, he tells us some very, very significant things about eternal life. Number one, he says, eternal life is a gift. God has given us eternal life. It's not something you can earn. It's a gift. And then it's a gift of God. God has given us eternal life. It's not the gift of the church. It's not the gift of a pastor or a pope or a priest. God gives the gift of eternal life. And then third, eternal life is wrapped up in the person of Jesus Christ. John says, this life is in his son. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He is eternal life. And then he says that this life, this eternal life, is not something that you get when you die. It's something you get now. You can have eternal life now. He who has the Son has life. Those who do not have the Son of God do not have life. And then he tells us that we can know. I have written these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life. And oh, 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 I want you to know. Randy Alcorn says, you are made for a person and a place. Jesus is the person. Heaven is the place. They are a package. You cannot get heaven without Jesus or Jesus without heaven. Let me ask you, do you know that you have eternal life? I say, what, what do I need to do? Should I come to church more often? I read the Bible more often? No, no, no. It's Jesus. Those who have Jesus have eternal life. And all you need to do is realize your need of him. Say, Jesus, I'm a sinner for whom you died. Come into my life. 